So hey, ninjas! Today we are going to create a realistic water in Blender, so let's add a cube first. Move it up, add a base to it, a simple plane, scale it up, and give it some material to it. So let's come to the shading tab. I'm already in the rendering tab with cycles on, so add a black color to it, increase roughness, and decrease the IOR values. Okay, we are done here. Click on the main object, so add an ocean texture to it. So click on displace. We also have to add a subdivision to it. Add a few more subdivisions, like 25 or 35 something. Yeah, it's looking nice. And render value to 7 to 32, cool. Decrease the size to it. I think this is looking fine, but it's too much. So let's decrease the waves value. I think it's looking perfect. So we can add some animation to it right now. If you play with the time value, you can see the animation is happening. For that, we are going to do one, our infinite loop thing, our frame slash 24 and enter. So it will be animating automatically like this, but it's too much, I guess. So we have to play with the size again. 0.1, and this is going to be somewhere around 0.1 also. Yeah, it's not moving too much right now. So 0.1 here, size, and 0.1 scale. Let's go. So add a water material to it. First, increase transmission to full. Decrease the roughness down. So we will get the severe shadows thing. Go to the alpha section and add a node there. Light path. This is the camera ray. So shadow is gone, but we are going to add some details to it. So let's add a bump node while connecting to normal. Bump node, then height to noise texture. Great. So increase scale value to 35. Decrease strain to 0.02. Okay, I think it's looking fine to me. Not too much or not too less. So I think let's add some light to it, like rays or something. So add an area light, bring it up, scale it up too. Okay, increase its strength to 5,000 watts. Then spread to two so it only covers the ocean area. Then use the node option while selecting the area light. So we are going to edit some things in the area light. One, add a wave texture. Two, add a color ramp node. Three, change the ramp setting to like this and distortion to 30. I think 0.5 works better for me. So let's copy this. Copy these two nodes. Shift D, add a mix A node, remove this, connect this toe point B and result to color. And also change the second value, something different. So you can see if you play the animation, it will change the difference in the rays of the area light waves. So I think we are almost done here. So let's add some volumetrics to volume or depth to our ocean. Add a principled volume. Decrease this value. Increase anisotropy to something between 0.6 or 0.7 so it can capture the natural light tone to it. So if you want to change the color of the rays, you can add mix shader here first, then volume absorption. So if you change the color of it, it will affect the whole scene like this. So I think a little bit of orange or yellowish tone can suit our current HDRI. We can just keep it white so it can naturally get that tone. So yeah. So if you play the video, everything is going to be animated and it's already looking so nice. You can change its value 0.1. I think it's looking great already. So here you guys can create a realistic water with some nice reflection, some texture in it. So this is how you guys can do it. You can always just play the texture and values to get your desired result or something. So this is how you guys can do it in Blender easily. So thanks for watching guys. Keep improving. See you in the next one.